And we're back once again for a little bit more Final Fantasy 2. Now let's hop on into our airship, and like I said, let's head on over towards the, uh, the Jade Passage here, because that is the literal last grouping of things that we have to do. And if only I could remember where the hell I am on this map, I could actually get to the places I'm trying to get to. Is it listed? Ah, now I see what I forgot. So, and I was right here. The amazing part was I was right where I wanted to be. First things first, we got something we need to pick up. Excuse the burp, sorry about that. <laughs> we just, she immediately knows. Wait, Ricard's gone too? Alright, so she knows nothing about any of these, just making sure. Yeah, the Wyvern help, but I guess she doesn't care. Ah, ask about the dragoons, that's what it is. Oh, but first things first. <laughs> Excalibur. Why the hell do the dragoons have this? Like, strange thing. Like, honestly, why the hell do they have that? Because shouldn't they be using lances and things of that nature? And not, you know, swords? Oh, there we go. Ooh, nice buff. And then we can give nobody else that other sun sword because we're just going to try to get uh, Leon leveled up with uh, with axes, apparently. Which will do us no good. It totally won't matter. It legit won't matter. By the way, that noise in the background is my cat eating. He decided to wait till the second that I hit record to be like, I'm going to make noise. He does this all the time. Alright, now, like I was saying, <laughs> we're going to head over, if I can remember where I'm going. This is where we're heading in the long run. No, you can't cheat this. You can't just land in here, sadly. You actually have to go to the Jade Passage. So, map this stuff out. Where the hell are we heading? It is over by Mysidia. This much I know. It's just a matter of... There it is. That's what you're looking for. So, kind of like Final Fantasy V, except you don't actually fly into it, you just have the same thing happen to you by walking into it in this case. And speaking of the Jade Passage, here we are. And we can just stand still for, you know, another, I don't know, three minutes. I'm cheating again right there, by the way. <laughs> I'll find better ways to do this later, but for now I'm cheating it. Well, we ain't fucking around with the enemies, that's for sure. Food spaz. Yeah, is that good stuff? <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot to heal up Leon. Whoops. I'll forget that more often than not. Well, there's a new looking spell. Also, ow on Leon. Spikes could be a hell of a lot worse. Teleport seems to be doing the job, as always. So, like I always say, man, <laughs> dude, you'd have a hell of a lot worse happening to you than this. Also, I'm going the wrong way, I can tell already. More Hellfire! More shit I'll never use! Why? Because teleport works. Literally 99% of the time. I still can't believe how broken that is. And I probably should have done a playthrough without it just for more challenge and more, you know, I guess more variety, I, if nothing else, but yeah, it's kind of not worth it. With how many, oh, look at how many fights there are. I mean, come on, you know how long some of this would take? And we're going to get this whole thing done in what, like nine hours? Somewhere in that range? 
Now, mind you, that was because I sped up the leveling in the beginning, so I spent probably another hour doing that. Which would have been, like, eight-ish hours, six to eight hours, probably, give or take, had I not been uh, doing the speed up. And it's not like I leveled up the most efficient way either, but I did what I could. And I did it at the wrong time. Let's be real, if I would have done it a little bit later, I would have had more spells leveled up too, and yeah, it would have been all in all better off, but believe me, I've done this plenty and it's fine. Alright, more stuff that's another uh, in-battle use item, so that'll basically cast like Blizzard. I think that gives you a level 5, don't quote me. I probably should have used it just to see. Although I don't think it tells you, it's just you would have to know by the look. You would have to know by what the spell looks like. Also, damn, Spaz is over 5,000 health. Sweet! Also, that looks cool. I just, I really don't understand how they can give you back Leon with, with basically a thousand health. And then hit you with spells like that, that you know full well are going to stomp the hell out of them. Because, hey, just come on, what are you going to do? Take like three hours and go level them up? It's totally unnecessary. Your other three characters are so fucking strong, you don't need them. So basically, again, I'm using him as a meat shield. I mean, it's, it's... Uh, Maria's gonna res him up, she's gonna get more life spell just in case we need it, because if the last boss kills anybody off, she can res, and it should bring him back at a decent amount of health. Which probably won't even matter. But the, that's the whole plan behind it all. My god, quit AoEing this. It looked cool the first time, seven spell casts later, I'm kinda questioning it. He complains as he casts Teleport for the umpteenth gajillionth time. Good. Jeez. I expect no less off of something that's supposed to be a holy relic, but yeah. Still, damn. Alright, get me out of this fight. Thank you. gone the right way when you get a, an area that looks like that. Basically, oh god, yeah, the, the waterfall area. Ugh. It's, this always reminds me of Final Fantasy V. This is nowhere near as bad, but this reminds me of FF5, the, uh, the area that's got Omega in it. Ugh. Still not one of my favorite fights. You, I'm not saying you have to cheese it, but you really have, like, a couple choices. Either bard everybody up, or... You know, basically just like mini up your, uh, uh, mini up your warrior and yeah, he's gonna have a hell of a time hitting you. It's the strangest gl is that a glitch? I don't know, I guess that's debatable. And of course, waterfalls hurt you. Like, these guys are willing to take, like, sword shops, axes to the face, like, you know, arrows to the knee, as it were. And you mean to tell me that a waterfall is actually going to damage him? I'm gonna have to, once again, yell shenanigans. Not even declare him, I'm freaking yelling shenanigans from the rooftop. Because, no. <laughs> just, just, no.
Ow. Mental note, they do hit hard when they physical. That blaze level 16 hurts like hell, too. Well, when Leon is alive, it hurts one of us like hell. <laughs> I should clarify when I say these things. I have like 30 to anything under 100 damage against any of my characters is kind of laughable. When you're when you're rocking minimally 3,800, eh, 100's kind of not really going to make you cringe. 622, different story. It's still not that bad. And we're not gonna quite hit level five on this yet, I don't think. Nope, got like three more, three more reses to do. Lovely. She got hit with like every status affliction ever. Fuck great Malboros, man. Fuck any any version of them, especially these though. Just God, she got hit with everything. She's asleep, she's paralyzed, she's muted. I think she's poisoned. Nope, that's it. And so is Leon, because why wouldn't he be? Thank you, Excalibur. God, without Excalibur right now, man, holy God, would we be in a lot of trouble. Okay, that's one of the top level axes. Also, hi King Behemoth. Let's not one shot Leon. Thank you. We one shot you. That's you. You had everything backwards. Stop hitting us. Of course he would get both turns. Of course he would. It's the only time you get to. Haha. <laughs> we only needed one attack. Whoa. All right, let's give that to Spaz. I think I forgot to give him other equipment, too. Actually, I think I did that just so we had more strength on everything. It's really not that big of a deal. I think I'd rather have a defense, but, you know, for shit. <laughs> and that is a lot of extra strength. That's like 12 total strength between everything. Damn, that is a lot. I think it's actually 15. All right, we'll take those 10, then. worth going in there. Oh no. <laughs> Not just parasites, mega parasites. So here goes like all of my magic points. Wow. Drain 16. Wow. That should really hit much harder for being a full level spell. I mean, look. My offhand, a rune, oh, excuse me, a poison axe hit for more than that did. I mean, come on. Come on. Uh, third door? Yeah. Oh, shit, I still have amnesia on him. I keep forgetting that amnesia carries over. Whatever, might as well heal him too, then. While we're here... Today, Junior. Come on. <laughs> and it's like you'd edit those out, but it would just, like, the music would skip barely ahead and people would be like, what the fuck was the point? <laughs> Honestly, it would take me more time to edit it than it's worth just watching it and laughing at myself for being a fucking slowpoke. Quit stealing all my MP. Oh. But I like my magic points. Wow. I haven't seen that one yet. Random 
bunch of freaking ankle cracks. Sorry about that. first one sounded like he hit uh, like some multiple of three with it, which is definitely more than normal. Ooh, Chimera Sphinx. It's a hell of a combination of things. Also, wow. Apparently fire burns diamond really well. I believe Spaz is in all diamond stuff now. Oh, no, actually he's not. We switched out two of the things. I rescind my statement. Oh no, a red dragon, whatever will we do? Attack on her? Sure. We barely ever use it, but if we ever do, at least it's there. And there's your door. Awesome. You can tell we're actually getting relatively near the end of the Jade Passage already. This isn't that long of a uh, of a place. It's just there's a few nasty enemies, as you've seen. They're not horrendous, but you're gonna lose, like, all your MP, and God forbid that be the only way you can heal. And if you don't have ethers, oh boy did you mess up. <laughs> Go back and buy them. Go back and use up all your money in 99 out, like your high potions, your ethers. Uh, that's probably about all you're really gonna have to do. Woo! That's a hell of an Osmos. Good lord. That's a hell of a teleport. <laughs> I got Leon has four out of five magic points. Ah, that one aura that we cast. Woo, so useful. So very, very useful. Nice knowing you, Leon. Poor guy. <laughs> Poor guy just ain't... He ain't gonna survive like anything. <laughs> oh, poor, poor man. Decent enough armor. Holy crap. And the protect ring was not going to do what I thought it was going to do, so. Meh. Nah. Everybody else has got better stuff anyway, so. Not worth.
god. <laughs> Just hit the other three, would you? Or not. Again, back to the res grind. This might level it to five, though. God damn it, one more. I think I called that correctly before when I thought it was three. Hey, elixir. All right, and I believe that door takes us into the last portion of this. I think. Are coming up on the end of the episode, so the answer to that would be yes, yes, it does. Does teleport actually work on Malboros? Oh, super awesome, yes, it does. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I did not know that. <laughs> Love how Leon was just tailing behind there. That's why I went into my menu. Yep, that's the last Bay Area. You can tell already. I can tell already. Well, like I was saying, that's going to bring us pretty much to the end of this episode, so we're done with the Jade Passage, meaning we have Pandemonia left at this point. We are on our way towards the last boss. There is some nasty stuff on the way, though, so there is plenty of good stuff left to go. That'll start up tomorrow. Uh, it is down to the nitty-gritty, though, and here it is. So, on that note, I love you guys. I will catch you tomorrow after we save up here. Thank you so much for absolutely everything. 